Okay, so here I am one night later checking out Mothered. You know, I was thinking Mothered is a bit of a weird word, especially as a game title. I mean, I was actually wondering if maybe it was going for a Silent Hill 2 vibe by dropping the S and smothered. <laughs> but while I was making coffee and about to head up to my office to play, it finally clicked. What if it's Mother Red? Uh? Sure, the words would have to share an R, but knowing Red was the Enigma Machine AI's name, well, it makes a lot more sense for it to be Mother Red instead of just mothered or smothered. But I guess I'm going to find out if my suspicions are right either way once I play it. So let's go. Mothered, a role-playing horror game. Press enter to start. That noise, it's like, erp. This game features themes of abuse, sickness, and death. Left click to accept and progress, progress, progress text. There's a storm approaching right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Left click to wake up. Father. Sunday evening, okay. M Mom. Press WASD to move, use mouse to look around. So this is sort of the same thing we've been playing with. Hold space or right click to open the interface. Ooh, I like that. That's what I was asking for in uh, the last game. When the interface is active, left click on objects to interact. Okay. Father. I can completely turn around in my seat. Is there anything here? Besides father. Oh, sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you. Oh, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with mother, to remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Huh. What place exactly? The hospital or... Were we somewhere else? Still seems like... It looks like there's something there, but I, I can't touch it. Dad, are we there yet? You know, Liana. Father turns down the radio. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Okay. Won't let me look around anymore. Must be like a, a scripted bit. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, the house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. Okay. little bit of Whoa. that is so super loud I'm gonna 
turn that down. Okay, well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you'd better run in before you get soaked. Press shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Hey, I have practice doing that. Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. Ooh, look, we can run faster. Way faster. Looked like it might be a light switch, but it's not. This is just me looking around because I'm curious. What's that? I guess this is just like our little highlighty thing. I am fully aware there's probably nothing over here. And I can't really see much, but I'm curious. What? Is that a fire? Huh. I wonder why there's a fire over here. That's kind of a neat find, huh? I feel like that's gonna mean something later, huh? Whoop. All right, well, let's go in the front door to look for a box. Wow. It's cool to see all the slight improvements here and there, or not even improvements, but, well, some of them are improvements. Like, I really like being able to use the right mouse to interact, but just slight changes, like even the doorknobs. But, I mean, I guess technically we're not in a dreamscape, so everything would look different either way. So this is kind of more like being in that central area in echostasis, you know? Because I guess in the Enigma machine, we don't really ever spend any time. So here's a telephone. Can I just pick it up? You pick up the phone. But nobody's there. You put down the phone. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, so there's a, is there a box? Let's close this just to see. What's that? A mirror or something? Oh, it's just like one of those, uh, yeah, like the, gl the glass window sort of things on the sides of the doors. Okay, so we'll look in here. You flipped the kitchen light switch. It's still so dark. This place is pretty big. I feel kind of short, too. Look how short I am. I must be, like, pretty little. Huh? Oh, there's that fire. I don't know if it's the same one or not. Um, I am little kid and I am scared of dark. Note from mother. It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome you personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mom X. P.S. I left a box on the sofa for dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work. There is a lamp just behind you. It should help. Well, that is pretty helpful. I mean, it says there's a lamp just behind me, but there isn't. You touched the lamp. That was more like diagonal to me. <laughs> Okay, so it's on the sofa. Woo! I'm such a little munchkin! Here's the box. What do you think's in it? There's a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants you to bring it out to him. You pick up the box. It's quite heavy. You do not need to watch the TV. 
but maybe I want to watch the TV. You do not need to sit. Stop telling me what I need. You do not need to look out the window. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll explore the rest later once we bring the box to dad. I wonder if they'll actually let us look at dad. Ooh, look, there's a lot down here too. Dad's like, are you ever gonna bring me my box? And I'm just running off into the woods. What's wrong with that girl? Oh, it's so hard for me to not come out here and look around though. Like, I feel the pull to explore. Isn't it strange that it just kind of stops raining? What happens? I'm running away. I'm running away from mother. I know something's weird. There's like a lot. It feels like there's so much freedom to just kind of, whoa, move. Except for that. That's, that's where my freedom ends. My freedom ends there. They say you must go live with mother. But I don't want to. All right, let's go back, I guess. <laughs> I'll just like fast forward this for you guys so that you don't have to wait a million years for me to get back. I didn't think I ran that far, but. Oh, shy! Didn't want to go in the water. Where the heck did I go? There's just water? Damn. They're like, you're not escaping. There's, ah, where did I go? <laughs> just gonna fall in the water. Let's just run back. Try not to drown. This isn't cool. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, okay, all right try over here by the by the gate no we're just gonna drown so we're just gonna we're gonna go back we're gonna be good we're gonna do what they want us to do we'll go up the stairs okay dad I get your box sorry I got it a little wet it's kind of weird how it you're going into the light. Just remember when we were going to the light in Echostasis. Um, great, you found it. I still cannot see him at all. You give dad the box. <laughs> What's in the box? Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And please be patient with her. With her? Remember what I was saying about Mother Red? She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but it wouldn't be safe. Wait, I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. Wh why? Looks like this storm is picking up. You'd better run in and get to bed. Why is it? Well, why can't I see his face? I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. This is bizarre. Oh, you can kind of see him just a little bit. Oh, it's so weird. You can only ever see just like a little tiny bit. Do you see like a little bit of his eyes there? That is strangely ominous. Oh, he just repeats that. Oh well. All right, well, let's go. Let's go back into the house and see what's happening. Like one of those people who never likes to leave the door open in games. Gotta close it. It's like you're letting all the bugs in. 
So, was there anything here or was this just a window? It's just a window. Can I, can I watch TV now? Come on, don't, don't you tell me. What about the fridge? I'm hungry. The fridge contains food. You do not need to eat. Ugh, this place sucks. The cabinet is used for storing knives, spoons, forks, the kitchen knife. Um, what about this? You have no reason to interact with this. Ah. This cabinet is used for storing cleaning products. This is weird. <laughs> I love that there's actually different stuff here. This cabinet is used for storing pans, trinkets, and pots. What about these drawers? Oh, it's the same thing. What about here? Very ceramics for dining. <gasps> That's where she keeps the good china. What about up here? Oh, I can't reach that high because I'm too short. All right, well. Let's uh, check what's out in the dark here. Wow, it's really dark. Door handle. Does not, does, oh, what did that say? Downstairs bathroom door locked. You are forbidden from attempting to open this door. Why? Okay. Well, what have we got left but to go upstairs, I guess. Seems like a nice enough house, huh? Right? Let's go upstairs. We got pretty decent up upstairs. Light switch. What did that say? You flipped the bathroom light switch. Okay. Door handle. What's in here? Gotta go take a pee after that long drive. You do not need to go. Oh. Wash your hands. Mm. Stop telling me no. It makes me mad. Makes me so mad. Alright, so there's that way and there's this way. I guess I'll go this way. It's so freaking dark, man. Liana's room. Stay out or face my wrath. And what's this? Whose room is this? Door handle. Mom and dad's room door. I am forbidden from entering mother and father's room. Okay, so that's my room. What's down here? More darkness, my goodness. What? That's an open door here. You knock on the door. Um, you hear what appears to be crying. It's none of your business. Like hell, it's none of my business. I'm not allowed to enter his room. Whose room? Why is he crying? Oh, you can kind of hear it. Let me get in. All right, well, this this home is already feeling pretty messed up. Okay, I guess I'll go check out my stupid room. Do I get a light? There's the weird fire. You know, it's funny because this is supposed to be my room and yet if so far, it's the creepiest room I've been in. Wardrobe. This is your wardrobe. It contains clothes. This is very weird. It's like, oh, you know, like they're telling me what everything is. Like, I wouldn't already know. This is your desk. Does it contain a pen and paper? There's that fire. And it looks like something out there. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a garage. Oh, lamp. Yeah, that's much better. Why is there just like a bonfire outside? What is that weird ass painting? I can't make it out. It just looks like... 
It almost looks like a cracked TV panel or something, you know? I guess we'll try and go to sleep. You have traveled far today. You are exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. Whoa. Did it say something like losing consciousness? I'm gonna have to look at that and when I when I replay this. Well that's some upbeat music. Can I put clothes on? No more fire. Oh look, it's not a creepy weird house. It's not a creepy weird house at all. Oh cool, look, there's actually like an escape. Use arrow keys to do the thing. Press Q to toggle graphics quality. Maximal. Okay. So let's go, uh, see what's going on. Can I maybe go see what's up with crying child. You knock on the door. There was no answer. I'm not allowed to enter his room. Like, this is what makes me feel like whoever this kid is, is some sort of AI. Because, well, kids don't follow rules. You know, I mean, not unless they've had some serious discipline. Like, and they're scared. But... I mean, my kids, you tell them they're not supposed to do something and they just do it anyways. And when they get in trouble, they're just like, well, of course I ate all the chocolate. You don't just sit there and like repeat something like, you know, I am not allowed. I am not allowed to enter his room. Like, because me, look at me. I'm like, let me in. But this person, this girl, Liana, seems like she is you know, uh, restricted, like physically restricted by these rules. Oh, hello. This must be mother. Uh, she's kind of strange looking, huh? Hello, mother. Whoa. What's with the tooting? Good morning, Liana. It's me. Whoa. That creeped me out. Your mother. <laughs> Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're... I'm sorry. I'm like looking at the mouth and the face and I'm totally creeped out. I'm just like, uh, like normally I would just read this as it's coming up on the screen. But because of the tooting, I feel like I'm interfering with it. And so I'm just like, well, I'll just read it once the tooting stops. <laughs> but I'm still kind of taken back by how weird this is. This is weird. I wasn't really quite sure what to expect. I remembered hearing something about how it looked like a mannequin, but never really got to see it up close and personal. So it's uh, definitely uh, something. So anyway, um, you're home now. That's the most important thing. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. But I, but as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always loved that little sign on your door. It's so you. <laughs> I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy, catch up with your dear old mother. First things first, I have prepared a breakfast for you. It's
It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Well, it's weird how the, the shearing like attaches sometimes when she moves, but what is with this? Like this is not a real person. It's like shiny, you know, and the mouth doesn't move. It's very strange. It's very strange. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Am I maybe in a simulation? Uh, I don't know. It's so strange too, because you're very obviously little, like you're little, you're a little kid. Look at the height. Like this, this is mom's butt here. So you're coming up to mom's butt and the counters. It's, it's weird. It's strange. It's very disorienting, but such comes along with these titles. It's being disoriented. What is it? Breakfast platter. It just looks like a plop of dough. It says nutrients. Your favorite. What? You ingested all the nutrients. Okay. Where'd mom go? Oh, there she is. I, I can't help but be curious about that kid upstairs. No answer. Where do they go? And can I come in here? Why won't it just let me do what I want to do? I don't want to live by these restrictions. I just want to be free. All right. Well... What if I go outside? Do you think I can go outside? Do you notice how everything is still water everywhere? Like you can't leave? Ooh, is this a gate? I didn't notice this before. I want, it looks like you should be able to get through there at some point. So there's a, oh, there was a whole little path back here that I did not see. Well, it was pretty dark, to be fair. Oh, well. I just like to explore. I like to see what's going on and what I can do and if anything's changed, especially with games like this. So I guess I'm just supposed to talk to Mother. Mother's just waiting for me here. I think the weirdest thing about this is being little. Because it, it makes Mother kind of imposing, doesn't it? Okay, Mom. You ate that whole thing. That's interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. I wish they would say what actually happened to me. And so I was thinking, it could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. I mean, but I already did that. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tootie. <gasps> what? 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 Why is mom down here too? What in them? Are there more than one mom? The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. Why does this one sound different? You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Well, I mean, it's already flooded outside. 
anyway, meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of yours. Look at me, I'm, I'm touching the doorknob. What do you think about that, Mom? She doesn't care. I'm touching the doorknob. Look it. Doesn't care. Okay, okay. Let's go check on bro. Who I'm assuming. Oh my god! It's totally creeping me out. Like, totally creeping me out that she's just jumping around in front of me. Like, that's unnatural. I'm, I gotta wonder is mom down here still? Is she still here? Well, so this mom is still here, but that mom's not there anymore. So there's like literally two instances of mom running at this point. And the one that was downstairs just teleported up here. That's great. Honey. Oh, I have great news. Oh, what the heck? I missed it. Oh, he's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. He will never get to talk. He, we never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking with speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. Hmm. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. I actually like to try talking to her again to see if I could catch what I missed. I have great news. Your sister is back, hopefully this time for good. Oh. I feel like they, they played that quick on purpose. <laughs> they didn't want me to see it. Okay. Okay. And then all the dot 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 afterwards. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I saw all this. So let's knock on his door. We knock on the door. He's still not answering. Wait, so where are we going? In the bathroom? The fuck, man? I have to know. So it's these two instances and they just keep moving. So like one stays there, the other one moves. And then I guess the next one, this one will move to wherever we go next. It's crazy. And do you notice there's no shower? There's no tub. It seems kind of like a strange bathroom. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have to I have ha yeah. but I have I have had to cover all the mirrors. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It is again for your own good. What the heck? The mirror has been covered with tape. It is for your own good. Now watch. Mom gone. Mom there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh mom. I'm on to you. Oh, dang it. I hate when that happens. When I click it too quick or something. Or it counts the right click. Uh, it leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concludes our tour. <laughs> oh, I never got to see what she said. Dang. Mother has left. That's poop. Well. I thought she said it wasn't locked, huh? Huh? All right, well. You knock on the door. Will he ever answer? There was no answer. Like, I think this this guy's just a lost cause. Well, now what? Is it time to ingest more nutrients? Mom. 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 It never lets me watch TV. Hmm. Mom, I need nutrients. 
that says I don't need to eat. Forbidden from attempting to open this door. Well, I just did. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go, go to the bathroom? No, I don't have to go. Hmm, maybe go outside? Or should I just go to bed? It's weird that mom's just not around. No note, nothing. Oh, what about that fire that I saw? Nope. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go check outside just because. Just because. Oh, there is a light out there. And I kind of see her. Is that like the UFO coming to take me away? Mom, what the heck you doing? This is weird even for you. What are you looking at? Liana, you startled me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Okay, well I did. Oh, this is marvelous. How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows, maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, tell you what, tomorrow we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Look at this sunset. <laughs> we used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? Come on. It's starting to get cold. It's about time to get to bed. So that's got me thinking about the sunset and echostasis. Whoa, it's, whoa. Just out here in the blood. She just left me? Just left me out in the blustery cold? It's kind of messed up, Mom. Alright, well. Is there anything going on down here? Did I turn that? No, I turned that off. Let's turn it on. It doesn't really look like there's a lot going on. Let's see. You know, like you kind of do what you're supposed to do and then there's not much left. Wow, it's so dark. Hey, brother. Will he answer? No. He never answers because he's a jerk. You're a jerk. Nothing. What about mother's room? Nope. Just stuck going into my room. <gasps> oh my fucking god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> god. That's not cool. It's not even cool. That's not cool, mother. Why the fuck are you in my room creeping? <sighs> Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. What? I've had to do a lot of things that I've regretted. So please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry, I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. Get some rest. 
I'll tuck you in. Just like before. So this like has just taken a decidedly, oh, what's, what's the word for it? Like a foreboding atmosphere. Like I just, I feel like maybe I'm not safe with mother. Do you know, like there's, there's a lot of allusions to mm, this happening before and her having to do things like she just said that were not good. And she's like, not again. Which leads me to think maybe something happened where I did something that maybe she killed me or something. I don't, I don't know. Let's, uh, oh, that's even creepier with the face on the wall, huh? Ugh. <laughs> you get into bed and mother tucks you in just like before. This is when she smothers me. I love how every morning it just starts off and it's all like, da, 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 da. everything is happy. I never have to change my clothes or take a shower. Nothing's weird. Every day I try to get in here, but I can't. Why is there even a bathroom? I literally never use the bathroom. How, how do I not have to pee by now? And why don't I have to poop out the nutrients at some point? I mean, I know that's not a topic most people want to discuss when they're watching a video online, but you know, it's, it's biology. That which goes in must come out, right? So let's try talking to little bro or big bro again. No answer. Can't get in. All right, well, let's go downstairs. There's mom. Sup, mom? Why do you think she's always just right there? She's not even doing anything, just looking outside, I guess. Oh. Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought, and I think we simply must do it. If there is any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. <laughs> okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. Okay... What about my nutrients? Do I eat it? Or do I not eat it? She didn't tell me to eat it. But like, I wonder if I'd be hungry. Let's just not eat it. Okay, so she skipped ahead, but it's, it's like mom version two because Mom version one is still in there. It's a very weird design choice, but I like it because it's, it's creepy. I wouldn't even consider it. I would just, you know, have her move. <laughs> but like the idea that there's two of them is really like, eh, it's eerie. And this is like the sweeter sounding one. Ah, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in the hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father and your brother. He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life, it's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. Ain't that the truth? 
To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in cheating, create, I thought that said cheating, in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own. It takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. Spending your energy on helping them grow only to have to dispose of the failure. See, what did I say, man? That's where our hope comes in. And I have hope. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. I love how you're just here. Just looking at the orchard. And I mean, is it not strange that there's just water everywhere? There we go. The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. The, gra the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. So what am I looking? What do I? What am I looking for? I guess we've got Thursday evening that we're getting a call from Dad, right? So let's just. I'm just gonna write it down because why not? Thursday. I'm feeling like I should keep track of it. Thursday evening call from Dad. And now we have Friday evening. Mom Graveyard. Mom Graveyard. Okay. There we go. Although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately, with a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. <sighs> it's time to move on. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. So, that's the graveyard, huh? Hmm. What's that? You see that barn up there? I can't see it right this second, but yeah. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Huh. Whoa. Survival notice do not enter the barn. Holy shit. Survival notice? I mean, yeah, this is definitely like one of those I've been here and I've been killed many, many times. Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. <laughs> it still just says, survival notice, do not enter the barn. Mother has left. I don't understand why she keeps leaving me outside at night. It's kind of like a bad mother thing to do. I wouldn't leave my little kids out. I mean, I, I don't know. She does say at your age, which makes me think I'm a teenager. But teenagers aren't this short, which makes me think that I'm older. I don't know. At least she never made me eat the food. I kind of thought that they were going to make me eat the food. I kind of want to not eat the food to prove the fact that I don't think I'm really human. There's mom. It's weird that she's actually in the house at night for once. Or rather, out and about at night. So she took up the nutrients. They're not there anymore. Let's see. Ooh, what is she doing? That's kind of weird. She's not usually moving around. What are you doing, Mom? By the way, I've been meaning to ask, how was your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He 
makes a quick visit every Friday night just to see how things are doing. Isn't that when she goes to the graveyard? Oh, he's just so determined to make things right. Dot, dot, dot. Off to bed with you. have to slow that down later because I couldn't read what it said. <sighs> Mother has left me alone again. Mother, why must you leave me? You better not be creeping in my room again. Better not be creeping in my room. I really hope at some point that I can just get into things regardless of whether or not I'm allowed to. You know? Ooh. Is someone down there? Is that mother? Yeah, I think it is. Let me go try and talk to bro, bro face, who literally never answers the door. <gasps> She's been feeding you dirt for breakfast, by the way. Dirt? Not sure what's worse, the fact that she tells you it's your favorite or the fact that you believe her. Well, I'll have you know that I did not eat breakfast this morning. But it doesn't look like dirt. I mean, it's white. Does he just say the same thing again? I mean, at least he said something. He's like never said anything. So I'm kind of happy to hear something. Although I gotta say, I'm really getting sick of mother creeping. <gasps> That's not cool. That's not cool. You know, it just kind of goes to show you the mood. And now I won't deny I'm a big baby. Like I'm a total baby. You hear me getting shocked and startled. <sighs> but it's like, I'm already kind of on eggshells. Like they've already built this, this mood, this atmosphere that's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. And like, even though there aren't enemies, you know, attacking me, I don't feel safe. You know, like, at, like there's something inside of you that is just worried like wondering when mother's gonna crack when something bad's gonna happen so it's insane that like even though I saw her there that when the noise kicked in when the music kicked in it like it I wasn't expecting it you know so anyways I thought of the most marvelous idea let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow we will get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? I mean, it's like, I don't even know if I can talk. Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. I jumped when you... I, I jumped all right. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. Look at the positioning. Look at the positioning. Like, it even looks threatening. Can't can't get in can you imagine me like being a pain and trying to get in the room like behind her I do wonder if there's not something I should be looking into but I don't think there is oh man let my heartbeat come down a little bit it's got me a little anxious but now it is night and you must sleep to progress. Disengaging something. I'll have to look at that later too. Morning. Oh, here we go with the nice, happy, feel good music. Our dear mother is looking for you downstairs. You'd better hurry. It's weird that he didn't talk for like days and now he's talking. Our dear.
your mother. morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better to start bright and early. If you head down there, there is a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table if you feel like you need it. See, like if that's dirt, how is that dirt? It's just like white putty. I'm not going to eat it. That's going to be my experiment is to not eat it. So, so there's something about a shed. Maybe down here. Oh, cool. Never actually been in here. Is this it? Looks like a shed. <gasps> oh, fucking mom. God. She's getting on my nerves, man. She's scaring me. Picked up the apple basket. You're now able to pick apples. I probably should have talked to her first. You found me. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. Well, I already did get the basket, so. Let's see, here's an apple. Picked it. One. This is kind of a, a cool little activity. Like, go out and pick apples. Okay, I'll pick apples. Pick that apple. They're kind of hard to see, too. Like, you have to actually really look for them. These don't really look like apple trees, though, huh? More like birch trees or something. Oh, there's one. I had a bunch of fruit trees where I used to live, and since I moved, I have to plant more. One of the biggest problems with fruit trees is you attract wasps and hornets like crazy. They just want to eat the fruit. And then you got to have them in your yard all the time. One time I even attracted, uh, there's one, a baby deer. <laughs> a mom like left a baby deer in our yard because there were a bunch of uh, really overripe peaches and apples and stuff that had fallen to the ground. I figure it doesn't hurt to make some one-sided conversation while I'm looking for apples. Let's see. So I wonder what this is supposed to represent here. I can't help but wonder. What what am I doing now? Like what what am I reenacting? Wow, it's funny how they're really clumped together here, huh? Like in a very kind of creepy way. I don't know how many I picked. I kind of lost track. This place feels just kind of weird. Like you could get lost. <laughs> Even though it doesn't seem like an area that you could get lost in. But everything just starts looking the same after a while, doesn't it? There's the shed again, though, so. I am having trouble finding any more apples, though. Well, oh, there's one. What 
What if you don't pick enough apples and you bring them back and mother kills you because you didn't bring the best apples? Mother's like, you didn't, you didn't get eight. What's wrong with you? Can't you count, Liana? I feel like, sorry, I was too busy telling a story about the baby deer. Hmm. Mm. Oh, there's another one. I see it, I see it, I see it. Just look for slightly red little circles. Little globes. I mean, these are some barren apple trees, huh? I went apple picking once and there were so many apples, so many apples. I mean, there were lots of apples. <laughs> but I don't think that's the point. I think the point is that you're supposed to like spend a while trying to do this. I don't know. Can you check? Well, that doesn't look like it can. I was going to say, can you check uh, and see how many apples you have? But I don't think there's any way for me to do that. I could just try talking to her again. You found me. Oh, she just does the same thing again. If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. But how do I progress it to noon? Maybe I have to get eight apples and then it automatically progresses to noon. I definitely don't think I've gotten eight yet. I pro I'm probably at like six, five or six. Every apple I find though, it's like you gotta fight for it. Fight tooth and nail for every single apple. Where are the apples at? And this whole part of the grove is so like clustered together in a weird and kind of creepy way look at it look how close all the trees are it's all dark oh i saw one. Oh yay i guess i was closer than i thought <laughs> Where's the shed? There it is. Hey mom, I've got apples. Watch, she's gonna like smack me. And be like, you didn't get the right apples, Liana. Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You worked like your life depends on this. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Isn't it so great being out here in the real world? That's weird. When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air, the crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well... It would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with. So I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket back on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You've earned it. God, it never... Uh, I never get used to it. I never get used to how weird... She just freezes in time like that. You place the basket of apples. Fate decided. What does that mean? For the achievement down here? You hear Mother rush back into the house. You take a rest as per Mother's request. Okay. What, what, are, what? You, you are now rested. Wednesday evening, so Dad's calling tomorrow. 
I don't like being out here at night. It kind of, it freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why mother leaves me out here. I'm just a little kid. I'm a little android kid, maybe. I don't even know what I am. There we go. Find my way out of here. I don't care anymore. I'll leave that door open. <gasps> oh. You know what's messed up is I just heard somebody talking in my house. And I, I stopped for a second to listen. And then as I turned, I saw mother. What are you doing, mother? Sorry, I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. <sighs> get some rest. Why do you think she's here? Okay. What was that? Leanna, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger, you don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. Okay. You should get to bed. Is she still here? No. I mean, she's going to be creeping somewhere. Whoops. I'm just like, where is she? You knock on the door. You're back from the orchard, yes? Did everything you were told, did you? I see. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret just to save you the surprise. See, and this is making me think like, you know, there was the achievement that said fate decided and now this, like did everything you were told, like it, it makes me feel like there was another choice and I missed it somehow. Like, was there a way to just not do it? Like, what if I just went back to my bed and went to sleep or something? Maybe that's something I should try doing. <sighs> Mother is not happy with you. I'd give her some space if I were you. In fact, she's probably out there right now. But it's best that you just get to bed. Out where? Hmm. Out where? Is she in here? No. What do you think she is? Outside somewhere? Maybe at the orchard? Or maybe at the graveyard? I hate when it's so dark. No, she's not at the graveyard. I'm scared because I've it's so dark and I feel like I'm just going to creep up on her. And then it's going to scare me. I'm just not going to be scared. It's just... It's just a model. I can't get past whatever this is and I can't see anything. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, I'm such a wimp. For what it's worth, my mom used to jump out and scare me all the time when I was a kid, so. 
I blame, I blame her. <laughs> Alright, um, it's so dark and I hate how dark it is. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not jumping at every shadow possible. Now I know they said to just go to bed. What is that? I'm freaking, I'm freaking! What's the noise? What's the noise? It's- <laughs> I'm I should have just gone to bed! But I wanted to be disobedient! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Rotten. Rotten. All rotten. Rotten to the core. <gasps> the core. The core. I'm trying to click on her again to see what she does. She's just gonna say rotten. Rotten to the core. Well, this is definitely going back to uh, echostasis, or going forward to echo echostasis, rather. Talking about the core. I'm going to try and find my way back out of here in the dark, which is not going to be easy. Here we go. I think this is it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I picked rotten apples. I don't know what the hell this all means. I'm just gonna try to go to bed, I guess. You have worked hard today. Apparently not hard enough. Mother suggests that you should get some rest. So this is the night that dad's supposed to call. Oh. <sighs> It's, it's a, a creepy feeling. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm failing, like I'm disappointing mother and that she's not happy with me. And, and that, that fact is scary because I feel like, you know, you want to talk about survival notices, uh, like going into the barn. Well, if I'm not making her happy, and everybody knows it, well, how's that going to help my survival? No answer. Okay, well, let's go downstairs and... No, Mom. Huh. Is it because I haven't been eating the food? I wonder. Oh, I hope they one day let me in to those doors. Do you think she's still out here? You know, I'm sure it does not help that there's all this water out here if you want to talk about rotten apples. You know? How are these trees even still standing? They should all have rotted roots. She's still out in the shed. Mother is seemingly speaking on the phone. What? I just don't know how much longer I can do this. With all due respect, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's stuck here. Ooh. It's the same thing. Week in. Week out. Mm -hmm. 
You know, the more you tell me to just be strong, the more it sounds like you don't think I am. Let's face it. We have renounced nature itself. This curse is our punishment. Okay. Okay, I need to go. They should be awake any second. See you tomorrow night. Oh, so father does, I guess, come home and they go to the graveyard together, maybe, on Friday. I'll leave our bedroom door unlocked tomorrow evening. Oh, Friday. Friday? Bedroom is going to be unlocked. Oh, yeah. I like, I'm liking this. Same as usual. Do you just not see me? Mother is seemingly speaking on the phone. Okay. How does she just not know that I'm here? Isn't that kind of strange? Like, would you not? There was that one point where I snuck up on her, but still, it seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Like, I'm standing there, clicking her, poking at her, going, Mom, and she just doesn't notice. Will she be back in here, do you think? She already made the, the food. Seemed to have hit like a, a dead spot here. So there's got to be something I'm missing. And that's the only place. Oh, shit. Well, I totally missed this. It's a note for you. Angel. I started to feel unwell last night. I have gone back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table from mom. Why would I want breakfast now? So what do I do? Because I feel like I'm being forced to eat the nutrients. Well, I guess let's just try it. And it didn't do anything. You wonder what is wrong with mother. Oh, it did actually work that time. Yay! <laughs> it's kind of funny that they like forced you to eat it that time. I wonder if there was another way to progress it. Okay, so let's start looking around again. Maybe we can go talk to brother. Oh, there's mom. No answer, but at least we got mom. Just looking out the window. Liana, about yesterday. If I came across as irritated, <laughs> then I am sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well, and it's not fair for me to push you. How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Okay, so Dad's going to call. Oh, oh, oh. Run downstairs, run downstairs. Been waiting all week for this call. You pick up the phone. Hello? Liana? That's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one. Hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? He's yelling at someone. What do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course. What's it to you anyway? Wife. Sorry about that. Certain people are standing to get, f starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, there's a reason I called, other than the fact that I said I would, of course. 
Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She told me that things aren't going too well. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just... She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. What does that mean? How is it not safe? For either of us. Okay, anyway. Try not to fight it, will you? Goodbye. And put down the phone. Well. <gasps> Fucking mother! Mm. <sighs> okay. What? What do you want? That man's optimism. But she just like heard the whole thing somehow? It's not op often you see a man's greatest strength also become his greatest weakness. And while we may, he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. I don't like that. I don't like that. How did it, how did it shift? And it looks like there's code on the wall. Do you see it? It's moving in front of me. And it keeps getting far away. What is that? Well, mother. You're obviously not well. Come outside. There's something I need you to show me. Eh. I'm gonna go see if brother has something to say. No answer. He just seems to love keeping me hanging. We got mother version one and version two here again. What do you want to show me? Or what am I supposed to show you? The nights have been cold lately. Have you noticed? These are the kinds of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. Okay. This one feels especially chilling, though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. I guess that light is supposed to be the moon. I feel like I shouldn't listen to her, but I also feel like I don't have much of a choice. I feel like I'm gonna get hit by a car. I like how bronze she looks here. Is as far as you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to do, okay. I want you to sleep here today. What? I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. What? sleep here? Where? Possibly, what, what reason? And what is this text that I keep seeing? If 
feel like this is like one of those, you know, game changing moments. What is that? How do you think I could read it? Very worried. What if she's in here and she yells at me? What is that text? It's driving me nuts. Like, it's gotta be something. It's gotta be something important, right? I'm very anxious because I feel like this act of rebellion will cost me. Mother has an objective for you. She's waiting downstairs. So they won't let me sleep in the bed. That's, that's messed up. What if I don't want to sleep in the dirt? What if I, I want to see what the heck that thing says? I feel like I'm just being forced to go sleep in the dirt. I'm gonna go look around the side of the house because I want to see if we can find what this is, what that text is. can't see much. Getting closer to it. There's the gate. I can't get any closer. That is so bizarre. Like, I'm gonna have to... I don't know. And, and notice there's weird, weird noises when you come down here too. Oh, if I could see what that said. It's always too far away. I guess I've gotta go sleep in the frickin' dirt. She's probably gonna kill me or something. This is so messed up and weird. <sighs> I cannot believe I'm doing this. It's not even letting me do it. Mother wishes for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground and wait until morning. <laughs> just like looking at the dirt. Like, mm. And then she just leaves me here. Because she apparently hates my guts. You can't stand me being around. So Friday night, this is the night when I can get in the bedroom. Notice how the, like all the happy music is closer to the house. It's not out by the road in the dirt. <sighs> what do I even say to her, you know? What does he have to say about me sleeping outside? Nothing, apparently. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody loves me. What do you have to say, mother? Best best mom of the year award? Nothing's working. What's going on? I assume you're well rested. Oh yeah. After sleeping in the dirt. She's not making weird noises. What's going on? Did I break it? Um. The hell? <gasps> oh. No dialogue. 
Great. Oh, she like had an error. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now it seems like your only choice. Ha ha ha. That's wonderful. You're wonderful, Mom. If I talk to her again, will it just be all busted? It's funny because, like, you can't do anything. It's just all glitchy. That's really cool. <laughs> well, we've got breakfast. Let's look around. Never gonna get in here. Cup. Brother talk. Your brother. No answer. I'm just gonna eat the food. Seems to be the only way to make anything happen, but. Report to mother for your next objective. She's just right there, chilling. I will allow you into the graveyard. Okay, just for today. All right. I'm just gonna try real quick again. He just seems to not be talking again. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go to the graveyard over here. So how much you wanna bet that I'm gonna be here? <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's all, it's all mosaicked out. Error, 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 error. Proceeding could risk core instability. You must not proceed. I must proceed. Oh. What do I do? I mean... Because this is the evening when father and mother are supposed to be here. So I try to look at the gravestone. And nothing happens. Try to look at this one. Nothing. Oh, shit. Hey, I wonder if that's not got something to do with that uh, sarcophagus statue and... Uh, What do you call it? Can't look at any of these. An ecstasis. Object blocked to prevent potential conflict. This object has been mental blocked to probably mentally blocked to prevent any potential conflict. Are you sure you wish to continue? Left click to continue. Yeah. Mental block removed. Forbidden object. <gasps> oh. Observing this sign may lead to a core, core conflict where we demand the immediate service committee use shown to suffer a core conflict. Are you sure you want to continue? Liana's grave. Our angel. We will never give up on you. Oh. How does this make you feel? You can speak if you like. Mom, is that you? Hello, can you hear me? You don't have anything to say? I'm here. That's okay, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? I must go inside. Your father is coming to visit and I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad, he's here too? Please go to bed. What is going on? You're probably wondering what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we'll talk about what just happened in the morning. Shit. 
core conflict contained, control restored, next objective, go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. It's probably a tear. Look, there's text again in the far back. Do you see it? I would love to know what that text was. Ooh. What am I hearing? Do you see it? How it's just right over there? The fuck? What's going on up there? Oh boo, I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what is waiting for me in here. In the fun house. Of horror. I'm always expecting she's gonna be here. this light? Is it coming from upstairs? Yeah, I think it is. What the heck does brother have to say? Seems like a time he should have something to say. Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. Are they arguing? I think they're arguing. You hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. Aren't they gonna leave so that I can get in there? I want to know what that text is. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Notice the red light sink sinking through. I don't want to go to bed. I want to get in that room. What if it doesn't let me sleep in the bed? It has been a long day, but now it is night and you must sleep to progress. Disengaging something. I thought I was gonna get to go in the room, dang it. Oh, hi, hi, mother. You're awake. Angel, you're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? I mean, she was supposed to explain that whole grave thing to me. That's my girl. Level up, level up. I'm gonna have to pause that too later. Core objective, be with mother. I get in here. <gasps> Finally! What? What is this? It's just like a cupboard. I waited all this time. And with with a thing that goes right into my room. You see this? It's it's just a panel. They can just observe you. Alright. Well. No answer. I would like to see more from brother. Although, I won't deny that the fact that he just leaves me hanging all the time is also very upset- unsettling. 
Mom. Angel, you startled me. I told you to stay in your room. Well, tough. My objective says that I must be with you. Please, it's for your own good. Ugh. Be with mother. Mother is hiding. <laughs> I love how it's just like, be with mother. I must find her. This is kind of funny because it's like making it a different angle where I'm trying to get mother. Like, mother, where are you? I will find you. Do you think she's up in her room? I gotta find her. Is she in her in her closet? Mother. Mother. I'm gonna get you. Where are you, mother? Are you in my room? I think it's funny that she tells you to stay in your room and and she's like, why'd you, why'd you come out? Why are you trying to get me? What about you, brother? Do you think he gets sick of me knocking on the door all the time? All right, well, she's not here. Let's go find her. She's not there. I have a feeling she might be back here. We gotta find her. Mother. Must. There she is. I found you, mother. Look at you hiding. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. This sounds like the sweet mom. Okay, that's fine, but I'm still going to be with you. Please listen. I prefer you to not do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. <laughs> Core objective. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm busy stalking mom. She disappeared. Clever girl. Clever girl. I'm just gonna check up here. Nope, she's not here. We'll find you. We'll find you, mother. I must be with you, mother. I bet you're out in your shed. Do you remember that song that, what was his name? It was like Ray William Johnston, Johnson, Johnston, I can't remember it, but he used to play it all the time at the end of his videos. And it was that cat stalk dancing to that song stalk, that was stalk, called like Stalking Your Mom. Your mom. Stalk, stalk and that's what I'm thinking mom, of right now. Mom. I keep hearing it playing in the back of my head. <laughs> so my first instinct that she was out here was wrong. Do you think she's back in the house? Or maybe she's out by the road. Mom. No, I don't see her. She's in the house. She's got to be in the house. Either that or she is hiding down there by the car. The driveway, rather. I'm gonna find her. You can't hide from me, Mom. You can't hide from me. I love how it's just like, be with mother. I would love it if it, oh, core objective, be with mother. Did you see the text? I wonder if that's what some of those were, those text things that we were seeing. No answer. He's just going to ignore me. <gasps> there you are, mother. Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. Just leave me alone. Core objective, be with mother. <laughs> this is hysterical. The shoe is now on the other foot and now mother is scared of me. See, like, look, there's more text over there. Nothing. I noticed that the bedroom door is, uh, her bedroom door is closed again and locked now. Maybe we have to go th towards the text. I'm just going to take a quick glance 
Just to make sure Mother isn't in here somewhere. Nope, she must be outside. Mother! She's probably over there. That's where it is. Where that text is. She's hiding over here. They probably all say core objective be with Mother. Yeah, I can kind of see it from here. <laughs> Mother's like, no, I'm stuck in here with this crazy bitch. <laughs> This is amazing. Although I don't know why I had to walk quite this far to find her, but. Be with mother. Hi, mom. <laughs> As you can see, there is nothing out here for you. Uh-oh. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. You're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here, in this world. I know what I must do. She is gone. Okay, well, we still gotta be with mother. So what is this? Like what, using me to pass the time. Maybe it's, I don't know, like a bored AI. Like maybe this is Red being really freaking bored. And, and what, creating a mom? Why would you? want to be in this simulation, whatever it is. Well, I'm going to try the house first. No, mom. Still not getting in that door. It makes me wonder how many people try to get in that door throughout the whole game. Imagine if you were the, de the developer, you could just sit there and do that and drive people crazy. No answer. No mom. So what was she doing with me then? Like, what was she getting out of this? If this was all me passing the time, why was she here then? What did she get out of it? Or did she not have a choice? I'm just going to look around real quick. I want to go check the... Uh, I want to check the orchard area. See where she's at. You know, but there were those few times like, oh, there, you can see it over there. So I just got to look for the text when I want to find mom. But she was like, you startled me. Like maybe she was scared of me. And like this whole time I've been scared of her. Maybe she has more reason to be afraid of me. Oh. Angel, you're not well. She knew I was there. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. You are to stay in the shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I'm going to close the door behind you. You're forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. <laughs> That's what she thinks. You may not understand, but please trust me when I say that this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all of this again. Quit now. Be with 
with mother. Must be with mother. What? Wait, what did it say? Core objective, be with mother. You are forbidden from opening this door. Core objective, be with mother. Well, but... Apples? Those apples have had their cores cut out. You're no different to the apples. That is what mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They have started to rot. Core objective, be with mother. I love how it's just like, mother would never say that. So are we like an AI with no core? Well, how are a person with no core? Maybe we're like a person who went through a cerebral hijack and you know went through ecostasis maybe that's what happened you are forbidden from opening this door but my core objective unreachable functional state stalemate reached unable to progress hmm. contingency initialize backup core what I want to be with mother Desynchronization. I want to get out. You are unable to get out. Why? Mother says you are forbidden from opening this door. But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective. Be with mother. I need to open this door. <laughs> opening this door is forbidden. I will open this door. <laughs> I will open this door. It looks like it's on board. I opened the door. <laughs> Core disconnected. Automatic control resumed. <laughs> Be with mother. Be with mother. This is amazing, by the way. I love this. It is so weird. Do you think I'll get in that room? One of these days. I also have to wonder if there's only one path or if there are multiple paths like are there different endings let's look for the text so that's how we find mother do you think i'll end up in the barn oh, geez it's all fo whoa all foggy i can't see anything mother oh geez i can't see forbidden from attempting to open this door but like can I override now it's so hard to see just like hug the wall and then maybe I can get around mom mom oh I must be getting closer mom I must be getting closer like I've got like predator vision it's like I see mother all in red <laughs> this is awesome. mother son keep her door closed at all costs okay it's only staying for one more night there's nothing to be afraid of just do not open your door to her no matter what question 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 <gasps> Stay back! 
We don't want anything from you. Just stay away from us. Whoever you are, leave this family alone. Mother, it's me, Liana. I must call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to Mother. But why can't she hear me? Which don't make a sound. Insufficient PC synchronization. She does not hear you. You must try again. You attempt to call out to mother. I call out to mother. Dot, 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 dot. Did it just speak? Was that brother saying that? Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Isn't this exactly what you wanted to happen? Not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. Without a purpose, it will hunt us until it gets one. I told it to wait in the shed until your father arrived, but contamination is already setting in. I'm going to try to give it another order. Liana. Angel. Wait here until morning. You are not her. Wow. But doesn't contamination mean sentience? And and it's he says you wanted this to happen. But not like this. So there's different ways to reach that goal? It's a little confusing. Not Liana, you are not her. You are not her. You are not her. Interesting. What am I? I call out to mother. You are not you. Hey, wasn't that another one of the codes? I think it was. That you could put in an echostasis. You are not you. I think. Morning. We're just flipping through the days. You are not you. kind of sucks, doesn't it? I feel bad for this Liana or whoever it is. The door is knocked upon. I can't stand this anymore. I want nothing more to do with any of this. Alright. I wish I understood who the heck the brother was. Mother is just not around. Just don't want anything to do with me. Still made me some nutrients. Let's go find mother. Although it says you are not you. You are not you. Do I not want to be with mother anymore? Does nothing matter? What can I do? Besides maybe eat some food. She made me breakfast again. I do not need to eat. I refuse. Well. I know how that feels. can't think of anything else and I can't find her anymore so oh wow plate of dirt I will not eat it you cannot make me Sunday morning did I already do morning oh no I will not you pick up the phone angel it's me it's your father Listen, I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. 
when we last smoke <laughs> when we last spoke i mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on thursday morning she mentioned you were feeling sick well we're doing everything we can to help you but we cannot do that unless you cooperate my research has come such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement, so I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we'd better get going. See you soon. And please, try not to fight it. Eat up. Put down the phone. Why are we eating? Why do we need to eat? Ooh. She looks really creepy in that light, huh? But at least I don't have to look very far about where to go. Good morning, Angel. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. No. I want to go in this door. I don't know what I should do here. Should I just... Maybe I could go to bed. It's probably going to make me interact with the food, though, because that seems to be a pretty uh, heavy component. Many times now I've had to eat just to move it forward, but last time she said she wouldn't eat, so maybe I can just throw it. It says filth. You decide to eat it, even though I don't want to. You are not in control. You cannot make me eat. Disgusting. Not long now. Kitchen knife. Oh, I like where this is going. I obtained the kitchen knife. I knew exactly where it was because I remembered. It's time to end this. <laughs> where are you, mother? I'm coming for you. Oh, you left me a note? How sweet. Hi, Liana. I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm not there to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning. Love, Mom. I love how all the furniture's just gone. Does that mean I can finally get in here, maybe? still won't let me in there. That room is a lie. I'm coming for you, Mom. Where you at? You go, should I get bro? Bro face? He's like, he, he's checked out. No bathroom. No, no my room. Mom. Are you in your cabinet? Are you in your cabinet? No, maybe she's in the orchard. It's kind of funny how you just like kind of get into this idea of being psychotic. It, it kind of feels like everything up to this point has been a lie and been slowly driving me crazy. She's probably by the barn, what do you think? So that's where she said she hoped I wouldn't end up. So that's probably exactly where I'm gonna end up. Looks like it's open. I knew it. I freaking knew it, man. I knew it. Everything ends in the barn. Here we go. Look at all the corruption. Look at it all. <gasps> Come on. Alright, at least I still get to get to the barn. Because you know I need to go in that barn. What's in here? Just a pit? It's kind of lame. A pit with flower wallpaper? Huh. 
Okay. Oh, hello, mother. I was looking for you. Oh, just a shadow. I'm coming, mom. Coming. Here's that little uh, catwalk. It's the box. What's in the box? It's empty. The box is empty. What the heck was in the box, mom? I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. Of course. What's that you got? You know what it is. Ah, oh, good. You brought it. She's probably going to stab me with it. Give me the knife. Don't give it to her. Now's our chance. Kill her. I hand mother the... No, don't hand mother the knife. What's this BS? That's a good girl. What? No, no, no. Now, let's watch the sunset. Why did you hand it over? It's like going insane in her head. Why did you give it to her? Go on, get as close as you can. Core objective. It's time to end this. That isn't what I meant. Huh. She just wants me to jump the plank and I want to stab her. Huh. What, now they're just going to make me jump? Look at her shocked expression. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there, I feel I at least owe it an explanation. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles. We could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience. But it will never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. You'll never be her. And that's okay, because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. You feel Mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. Sunset. I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. Well, we definitely saw that in Echo Stasis too. Mom, you feel you core disconnected from player. You feel a sense of confusion. Contamination 100%. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Core disconnected. Okay. Rebooting. Click to continue. Oh god, does it just start over again? <laughs> it literally just starts all over again. Oh shit. Wow. I don't know, man. I think I think I'm going to need a moment to kind of let all of that uh simmer. There's a lot there, and I'm not sure how much of it I can connect in terms of putting the pieces together with the other games. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to have to sit on that. 
I also want to look and see if there are other endings. I'm curious. There's gotta be. I mean, I don't know, maybe not necessarily. With the achievements though, it definitely seemed like there might be. Either way, since this video is already pretty long, I'm going to put any additional content into a separate video. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later.